Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm JC and today's video, um, because I didn't have the original video that I had planned to release today, it's not quite ready the way I want it to be. They're perfection again. Um, thought I would do an author tag that I stumbled upon and found quite interesting. It's a author would you rather tag and I got it from what channel is that sorry the nerdy book nerd channel and I will link the questions in the description box along with her channel and the link to this exact video and I'm just gonna read it from my computer screen so if I look off to the side it's because I'm reading it because it's 20 questions and I wasn't gonna remember that <clears throat> so so would you rather, number one, have a male main character or a female main character? Now, this might be stating the obvious, but I am female. So, I traditionally write female characters. Now, not to say that I wouldn't like to be able to write a, main, a male main character, but I don't think I am quite good at it just yet. It's not... So it's something I, I would work on. But um, in my second Mackenzie Brown book, I have to do the, well, I'm doing the dual main characters and the secondary main character is a man. And of course it'll get ironed out in all the editing and the beta reading and you know, some males read it to get a good um, feel for whether I got the main character at least a little right. But you know, I'm not a guy. I do have a lot of male friends. I have a male best friend, so I think that might give me a little insight into the male mind and sometimes how they they you know speak or think, but um for the female, I don't have to do research. I you know, I, I know that mind pretty well. My mind is a little weird, but you know, so I prefer all that was the same. <laughs> female main character. Number two, would you rather wake up before dawn every day to write or stay up into the early morning hours to write? Okay, so here's a tough one. Because I am a night owl. So my creativity strikes more at night. However, I'm usually from writing during the day, because I do write during the day, um, I'm more, I'm trying to figure out how to say this, because it sounds weird. I am more productive if I start early in the morning. However, I am more creative at night. Um, which works well because I outline, so I don't necessarily have. See, if I was a pantser, I would totally have to write at night. I wouldn't even be able to write in the morning because I would have to use my most creative time, creative time in order to write because I would be pantsing. But because I'm a plotter and I outline, I can use the nighttime to create the ideas that I then want to write in the earlier part of the day. So can I just say that I'm a mixture of both? Um, only problem is I can't get up before dawn. I, I'm not a get up before dawn person. Early for me is eight o'clock. And even then, my alarm isn't even set for eight o'clock, so. But that's early for me. But when I've gotten up, there's been times when I've tried, like the five in the morning, wake up and um or six at least and I actually was more productive in the morning hours but I didn't feel more, more creative then so but see at night I just want to watch tv and soak in creativity because I get I get inspired when I watch tv or when I read and I do that at night I watch tv and read I try to um I keep the news on during the day so you know I'm not engrossed too much into the TV because when I watch other shows and stuff it's my inspiration hits and I get 
sparks of creativity when I'm watching other stuff. And so I do that at night and I read at night, which is what sparks my creativity. I'm not sure I answered the question effectively, but anyway, moving on. Number three, would you rather write a book that is torturous to write, but which is very popular, or write a book that is fun to write, which is only known by a small audience? <sighs> I'm not into tortured writing, so I'd rather have fun. I mean, unless it's rewriting about a, a torturous event, but I still want writing to be fun yeah um fun is good uh nothing wrong with a small audience as long as they're a loyal audience you know small audience can work small audience will then grow into a bigger audience i believe so right for fun number four would you rather write a sci-fi story or a fantasy story so for the longest time i thought they were both one and the same um, so my best friend set me straight and said, no, 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 sci-fi is different from fantasy. So my answer would actually be neither because I'm not sci-fi or fantasy type of person. I'm trying to think. I have thought about dabbling in paranormal fantasy, but I'm not sure that that constitutes as the same thing. So moving on to number five, yeah, five. Would you rather use first person or third person? First person, I, I just, third person is just too much for me. Um, I mean, there are times, it depends on it depends on what I'm writing. And, but most of the time I tend to write in first person. Number six, would you rather meet any character of any book or short story in real life for one day? or personally know any author you wish. I'd rather know any author I wish. Um, he didn't ask me which author, so I'm not gonna say. Well, actually, no, I am gonna say James Patterson. I would rather know any author and I'd rather it be James Patterson. There are lots of authors I would like to know, but if I had to, if I could only pick one, James Patterson. Um, number seven, only one, would you rather only be able to write your book in scenes from end to beginning or only be able to write it in scenes that jump around in the timeline randomly? Well, this question is easy to answer, neither. I write chronologically. I write chronologically. I can't write any other way. I can't skip around scenes. I don't do from end to begin, from to beginning or beginning. Like, I, I don't skip scenes. I write from the first chapter to the last page and it has to be in chronological order. If I get stuck at a point, I have to wait to work out, work that out to, in order to move on. I'm, I just have never been able to write that way to skip scenes and I can't do it. So neither. Number eight, Only be, would you rather only be able to write dialogue if you act out the voices out loud or only be able to write action if you act out, act it out in real life? Um, dialogue. I like that. I really like that. I'm not necessarily one for writing action unless it calls for it. And I try not to have it call for it too, too much. I mean, I write mystery. So there are scenes where there's shooting happening and people trying not to get shot. So there's a bit of action, but I don't act them out. But I do actually talk out dialogue scenes. Like I actually, it's weird. So yeah. <laughs> Number nine, would you rather publish with the most successful publishing house in your genre, but have to wait two years to see your book in print or self-publish with no expense or marketing assistance, but see your book in print within three months? Um, if I had it my way, I would rather traditionally publish no matter how long it took for the book to hit the shelves. I would much rather be able to my dream is just to be able to write let someone else deal with the publishing the marketing the printing the distribution all of that i just want to write and that that's my dream so if it takes two years for y'all to get it right for it to hit the market right for it to sell correct you know enough 
that's fine. I'll write the next book while y'all are getting this first book ready. I might write two books in two years time so that I can have two more to follow immediately. I traditionally published would be the way I would pick to go. I am self-publishing and it's not, it's kind of because I gave up on the idea of being traditionally published, but I'm recently rethinking that. But yeah, if I have to pick, I, I don't have anything against self-publishing. I don't mind it at all. Um, I love the idea of being able to keep 100% of the profits for myself. The thing that stops me from like really loving self-publishing is the marketing aspect. I'm not a marketer. It's not my thing. Coming up with taglines and promotional ads. It's just not, it's not the dream. It's not what I live for. I quite hate it or the idea of it. Um, I most likely would have to pay somebody to do it anyway because it wouldn't be done right with me. So, so. number, oh my gosh, okay, number 10. Would you rather write a goofy story or write a serious story? I'm all serious story. I like serious. I love goofy stories if someone else is writing them. I don't think I would do well writing anything that attempted to be comical. Um, people do tell me that I'm funny. My friends. I don't see it. But that's what they tell me sometimes. But I think that's because I'm not trying to be funny. And to write comedy or anything goofy or, you know, something to elicit a laugh, you have to at least be trying to be funny or goofy. And I just, I do much better with writing serious. Number 11, would you rather have an authorial, hmm, did I say that right? Would you rather have an authorial voice that always sounds like the narrator from planet Earth or have an authorial voice that always sounds like Captain Kirk? I'm gonna go with neither. Number 12. Would you rather write a story knowing that you will have to kill off the main character eventually or write a story knowing that everyone the main character is close to you will eventually have to kill off? What kind of story is this? Um, well. Okay, so see that depends. If it's a standalone book, where the main character isn't coming back and or isn't supposed to come back and this is not a book where the main character has to repeat then obviously I guess I'd probably just go ahead and kill the main character off die at the end of the book that's how you know this is that long book but if I'm writing a series like I am now um, we're just gonna have to kill off all the other characters we can bring more characters in in the next book and the one after that um, yeah. <laughs> Number 12, no, no, I just did 12. Number 13, would you rather leave your ending somewhat open and bittersweet or leave your ending on a cliffhanger? Um, I love cliffhangers. And the funny thing is I tend to sometimes write them and I don't plan to write them. Um, I write sometimes leaving things open, or at least I think I leave them open, and yet sometimes people tell me, mm, okay, so what happens next? I'm like, there's no next. What do you mean what happens next? But the way you left it, it's gotta be a next. I'm like, well, it wasn't supposed to be, but I guess I could think about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like cliffhangers. Um, I like reading cliffhangers. I like the idea that I could write cliffhangers. Um, yeah, I'm a cliffhanger kind of person. I believe you guessing. Um, number, number 14. Would you rather have your cover art designed by Tim Burton or have your cover designed by Stan Lee? Um, gosh. If I have to go with any one of those two, I'll take Stan Lee even though he's long gone. But... Uh, Stan Lee-esque type of cover art sure um, number 15 write 
Would you rather write in many different genres or write only in one genre? Easy, write in multiple genres. I already write in multiple genres. I, or at least I plan to write in multiple genres. And I know that it is taboo and people say you shouldn't start out writing in multiple genres. You should wait until you establish your career, but screw that. Why, why am I waiting? Tomorrow is never promised. I might not be here a year from now. I may mean, not hope I am, but I might not be. Why am I gonna wait to do what I want to do? Um, people will just have to love it or hate it. And it is what it is. Number 16, would you rather write physical disability or mental illness? Um, mental illness, only because I struggle with quite a few of them, so. I feel like it's tapping into something I know, even though I'm not necessarily um, opposed to writing things that I don't know about. But if I can write something effective on something that I know and deal with and struggle with myself, um, and I can do it justice, then I, I would pick that. Um, I do actually have some physical disabilities, but. I tend to already write about a lot of struggles with mental illness, so yeah, that's what I'm going with. Number 17, would you rather have an orphaned main character with good friends or a main character with a good sized family and family problems? Ooh, as a writer, oh my gosh, they both provide so much drama though. Um, Because an orphaned main character with good friends still has baggage because they're orphaned. If you have an orphan, that's just so much baggage. It's like a gold mine for story. But good sized family and family problems is also a gold mine. Um, don't judge me, but I'm gonna go with the orphaned main character, the good friends. The good friends will help her get through the stuff, the baggage that she's gonna deal with from being orphaned. Number 18, would you rather write the sex scene or not write the sex scene? I'm just going to say not write the sex scene. If I don't have to, I don't want to. Number 19, would you rather write about uncertain dangers and intrigue or write about a direct confrontation and violence? Mm, I don't like confrontation, so I'm just going to go with uncertain danger and intrigue. Number 20, final question. Would you rather have to answer any question put to you by your fans or have no fans asking you questions? I'll answer any question fans put to me at all. I'll answer any questions you guys have for me if I can answer them. Definitely would rather have fans. Um, so bring on all the questions. I like fans. So yeah, that was a very interesting tag. I liked that one. Um, I liked all of them, but I really, I love the would you rather aspect of it. So that's going to be it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more videos from me, make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments. Are you going to do the tag? I'd like to know. If you do the tag, let me know. I want to see the video. Until next time, have a blessed day. Bye.